Hey everyone, Salesforce Shorts here. So what we're gonna talk about in this video is how to execute a SQL query, okay? So if you don't know what that actually means, basically you're putting in some code to see, we're gonna use the account object for, for this example. So you wanna see maybe let's say the, the account name, account site, the phone number, and then Salesforce, if you put in that query, Salesforce will return the response to you, okay? So if we go into develop, developer console, just here on the bottom, you can actually click on something called, oh, okay, it's already open, query editor. Okay, so that's pretty much exactly what we wanna do, okay? Select ID, name, type, industry, rating from account. So if you, you can either type this in here, so let me just remove that. So, so if you just type in select, ID, name, let's say phone as well, phone from a, account. Okay, now if I execute this, you can see here on the top, it gives me the, it tells me how many rows there are in account, how the IDs, name, phone number, okay. So it gives me exactly what I'm asking for. There's an easier way to do this. So if you go to, I think it's here on the top somewhere. Yeah, if you go to open a resource and you type in account, you can see the account object here. Just double click on that. And this gives you pretty much all the fields that's on the account object, including our little fruit pick list, okay? So we'll use that, let's use active, ID, name, type, and let's just click on a few different things, okay? So this is pretty cool. So you can just easily select exactly what you want. Then you click the query button. Automatically Salesforce does that. If you click execute, it gives you the result, okay? And if you want to get, there's a lot of things you can do with SQL query. So we can even add like a little where statement here. And let's say where, let's say where active equals yes. Okay. So the reason why that's not working is because we need to put that in quotes. So there we go. So now it's only returning when active is yes. Okay, so now I've got 10 records where previously I had a little bit more. 